Hello, welcome to Dungeon Dwellers Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Today we're reviewing Evangelion 3.33, You Cannot Redo. Uh, came out in Japan originally in uh, 2012, came out uh, here in like 2014. It's part of the rebuild of Evangelion film series where they're like uh, remaking the series. The directors are Hideki... Hideki Ano, Kazuya Tsushirumaki, Masayuki. Sorry, I just, uh, I was drinking a soda. And Mahiro Maeda. Why is Masayuki, uh, oh, he didn't give out his full name or picture. Okay. So, like, I can't go into who stars in the movie because it just, it's showing me the fucking Japanese cast on fucking Google. Fucking assholes. <laughs> yeah, so this movie is gonna be fucking hard to review because, it, like, story-wise, it it's like all over the place, really. Because it's like, um, what what uh, I have to recap what happened in the third movie. Uh, sorry, the the second movie, the last movie. At the end of the last movie, Shinji Akari uh, gets into an Ava to fight. Uh, the Tenth Angel, which assimilated Rei Ayanami, right? So he he goes to fight fight the Tenth Angel, rescues uh, Rei Ayanami, but ends up uh, causing the Third Impact, which he, he transcends and that yeah causes the Third Impact. Um, Fourteen years time skip later there's an operation in space where um asuka and mari are piling ava's uh asuka ha- has her like ava 2 which has uh which lost its arm but now can re-equip new arms and it's it's uh missing two of its eyes which uh you know asuka after her after what happened to her in the Ava 3 test launch, she she now is missing an eye. Her and Mari are on a mission. Ari's piloting the, I think it was called the Ava 8A, which I do not have the guidebook here. I had it like a second a second ago. Ah, uh, god damn it. Yeah, I think it was the Ava 8A. Um, they retrieved this, like, um, coffin from space, which is housing, um, Ava Unit 1 and Shinji Ikari, in sus- who's in, like, suspended animation, uh, or stasis. They wake him up. He's now a prisoner of, uh, Masato K- Kasuragi's new, um, new organization. Where they have a fleet of ships and this new battleship called the... I think it's called the Vonder, a.k.a. the God Slayer. Which is powered by Ava Unit 1. <laughs> so now they have they now have a battleship capable of... Uh, of uh, projecting uh, AT field and like, you know, destroying uh, Angel or Ava weapons now, right? Which they are like, you know... At war with Nerve, who's run by uh, Gendo Akari. Fuyutsuki is still around. And the only other two members of Nerve is the new a new clone of Rei and Kaoru Nagisa. Which Rei uh, rescues Shinji from, from uh, Masato's organization. He... he uh, is going to pilot the new Evangelion Ava Unit 13, which pretty much just looks the same as Ava Unit 1, but with like yellow eyes, and it has like um, it has like two arms hidden in its chest. Which what's different about Ava Unit 13 is that it's piloted, it can be piloted by two pilots, and Shinji's new partner is Kaoru Nagisa, who is. Uh, a male clone of his mother, <laughs> which in the movie, um, like, Shinji is very confused. He doesn't know what's going on, and Fuyutsuki and, like, Kaoru 
in the movie sit down and, and explain to him what what's going on with the new world what happened and like you know he caught ca uh caused the the third impact so and he's like desperate to put things right again which Kaoru is able to motivate him into like you know piling to Ava because he told him that you know he could he can uh with the Ava unit three he can change change things back right so uh Fuyusuke sits uh Shinji down and pretty much tells him I would say everything but pretty much you know next to everything tells him yeah uh, Yui tells him uh, Yui was was the test pilot for well created Ava Unit One and was the test pilot and got like sucked into uh, the the plug and be, and, and like was uh, fused with Ava Unit One and that like you know uh, his dad made uh, clo made uh, clones. Uh, make clones of his mom and that's what ray ray is <laughs> which you know it's funny because like he doesn't remember it turns we find out why he doesn't remember what his mom looks like in this in this movie uh universe because in the in the in the tv show in the manga he did if i remember correctly there, there were like flashback scenes here like they show him a picture of yui or, or I think that's how you pronounce his mom's name. And like he immediately sees and he's like, what the fuck is that, Ray? He's like, no, this is your mom. And she's like, oh my god. <laughs> like, it's funny that like he immediately sees a picture of his mom. He's like, oh fuck. <laughs> I wanted to fuck my mom clone. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, almost everything got explained, but there was no conversation, by the way, where, like, uh, where, like, they, they talk about the angels, whether or not they're aliens or angels, uh, or they're actually angels, which, you know, we know it, the angels are actually angels, but I don't know if our characters know that, because they, they never talk about it. I think there was, like, one throwaway line in the first movie where, like, uh, where, like, the, the kid with the, um, glasses and the video cam was like so they're aliens right <laughs> they're like yeah they don't they don't talk about that and the movie i'm fucking i was very confused because they talk about uh the lillen and it at some point it's i thought they were talking about the angels but no they were talking about the human race apparently yeah because like um the reason why um misato is at war with nerve is because nerve is working with sale where they're trying to do the human inst instrumentality project, whatever. They want to, like, make uh, humans transcend and become, like, kind of like uh, god, a god, godlike creature. Because, kind of like, if you ever read, like, uh, Arthur C. Clarke book, like, I read, I've only read, like, two Arthur C. Clarke books. Like, uh, 2001: A Space Odyssey and like Childhood's End, and both end with the with uh, either the human race or one guy uh, becoming a godlike figure. Even though the guy is a fucking atheist and doesn't apparently doesn't believe in that shit. I I don't know. He's a Freemason motherfucker, if you ask me. Yeah. So like I don't know. They're like they're the movie is uh, shorter than the last movie. That last movie was like two hour was almost like two hours. This one is an hour and thirty minutes. Most of the time was uh, spe spent with, like, most of the movie was Shinji hanging out with Kaoru, developing this, like, relate uh, friendship with each other. They learned to, like, uh, play piano with each other, which apparently in the guidebook it said that, you know, they they use rotoscoping for the piano scenes, which which usually when you when you see rotoscoping, like, it looks ugly as fuck. Like, especially in, like, Western animations. Like, if you've ever seen, like, Heavy Metal or Fire and Ice or, like, he or, you know, He-Man. Like, the rotoscoping looks ugly as hell. Here, it looked amazing. I had no idea it was rotoscoping. I just thought it was really fast animation. But, like, you looked gr uh, great. There was some weird, like, CGI shots. Especially on board the ship. Where, like, the camera would... 
would spin around um, the interior of the sh ship or, or on the bridge, and like it was obvious, like they replaced the the, the characters with uh, CG models, right? Um, they never uh, explained why the nur, uh, sorry, the pilots uh, don't uh, didn't age. They just they just threw in some bullshit where it's all the it's the Ava curse. Let's be real. It's it's some pervert bullshit, right? Also, Toji's uh, or Ko is it Toji Suzuhara? His sister's in the movie as well. Um, she's supposed to be. I don't know. Like she should be what like twenty six or t like or like twenty four or something, and she doesn't look that much older than Shinji. But that you know. Like, a lot of the characters, it's supposed to be like 14 years later, and a lot of the characters don't look that old, to be honest. Like, the only one that looks like he got, who, the only character that looked like they got, they got really old was Fuyutsuki, but he was already, like, what, in his 40s or something? Yeah, so that, that's, that's pretty much my only, well, I, I have three complaints, actually. One was the CGI, I fucking hate CGI. Uh, to the movie, the time skip, the, the time skip, it made it sound like we missed a lot of shit. Like, Ava 6, which, you know, they were hyping up in, like, the fir first two movies. W like, you never got to see it fight, which I'm assuming you're, you're supposed to, you're going to see it fight in the, in the next movie. Because in the trailer, he, it was, he was fighting the, in the... In the trailer, like, <laughs> sorry to repeat myself. The, uh, the, yeah, I don't know, dude. Like the movie, I if I were to give a rating, I would say it's a, it would it was a solid seven. Not as enjoyable as the first two movies. Like, it just seemed like there was a massive time skip, and we missed out on a lot of on a lot of shit, and not a not a lot of stuff is it is explained. There's just a lot of shit in the movie that just feels like. It's weird for the sake of weird. Like, there was, like, some bullshit where the third impact caused, like, a, a, a huge portion of the population to turn into Ava statues. And the, the, the excuse was, oh, they were trying to reach the next stage of evolution or some, some dumb bullshit. It's like, ah, whatever. And uh, it turns out Ava Unit 13 was the 13th angel. Which is like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Almost uh, caused the fourth impact. I don't know, dude. Like, it's just like... Did they? Did there need to be four movies? I, I don't think... Th th this movie... Uh, there's some cool shit in it, but it just felt like, you know, a jerk-off. To be like a waste... Kind of like a waste of time. Right? And, and if the main characters... If Misato... Like, Misato and, like, a lot of the characters gave, like, Shinji a, a real hard time. If they had sat down and explained everything to him, he wouldn't, they wouldn't have, he wouldn't have, like, you know, betrayed them and went to fucking Gendo, right? But, the, but no, like, everybody's just, they, I don't know, they're, they're just too controlled by their emotions, to be honest. It's just, you know, I, I'm kind of this babbling on this it's like it's a solid seven there is some cool fights in the movie you know like ava uh the ava i forget the name what what was it ava nine whatever the new version of uh uh ava zero that like ray is piling it turns into this black black ava at the end and it kind of looks like ava unit one but black that was you know that looks cool a, you know, Ava Unit's transformation looked cool. Like, a lot of the fights were cool. I'm not not a fan of um, Mary's uh, Ava Unit. Like, the face, the head looks dumb to me, but I don't know. That's about it. So, like, yeah, we're probably going to be done for the Ava reviews because I ran out. Like, it's going to be a while before we, we can obviously watch the new movie, which is coming out in a couple of days, but we'll do a video reacting to the, to reviews and like the critiques from people. All right, later.